So here we are back in the coal pit in Stellarton on a beautiful winter's day, an episode that uh, was not planned for, but I decided to stop by here. I was passing through the area and it was kind of perfect timing. I don't know how good the sound and video is going to be. This is not shot on the regular system. This will be via my cell phone, but uh, just wanted to come back and have a peek. Took a walk into the pit. Like I say, the timing was perfect. It's not open today. And uh, just want to have a look and see what it all looked like. A year after the last visit. Of course, it's very different. The, uh, the year that has passed since the last episode. Yeah, many things have moved around. I do identify though that uh, right there is where we went in last year at the very end of the last episode. That's now down at uh, ground level with all this above it. And that was just one exposure of an open drift on that wall at that time. I see there's uh, four or five more down there. And if we look along this wall, many more head up that way. So they've, uh, they've definitely gone into this wall deeper and have exposed much more of the open drifts from 100, 200 years ago. And of course, under the circumstances today with me being so unprepared, we're just gonna poke around and basically make this an update episode. Here's an amazing uh, piece of equipment that we saw the last time. Looks like a giant chainsaw type design. And uh, interestingly enough, if you come over here and look in the ground, what we didn't see last time is what this big beast actually does. And it is this. This amazing chasm right down through the earth. Now the problem here is while these are very promising looking and tempting, the logistics is bad because those are a good story and a half up in the air on a sheer cliff cut. So vertical, can't really get up into them when they're up in the air like that, there's just no way. And like I say, this belt of coal that goes down, it's fairly distinctly visible, you can see it there. Uh, that's like a nice, easy 45 degree slope. Not so nice and easy, actually. But maybe down at the bottom, we'll venture down there. There's ones that reach ground level. Uh, we'll take a peek there. But these ones we're going to have to leave. I, there's just no way for me to get up to those. As tempting as they are. Okay, here we are deeper down into the pit. Um, there's the pond over there for the, uh, the sump. And just looking back up to kind of where we were, we were way up there by uh, by all those openings earlier. And it does look a lot like the original, that group of eight, as I called it back in the other episode. That is a different set though. The other set is long buried. It was more kind of over there, but this one is uh, higher up. And there was only one pair, like I showed earlier, that was uh, that we walked into last time. So quite a bit more exposed. We're going to head over this way into the distance and uh, see if we can get into uh, peeking into some of these ones that are closer to ground level. All right, a better vantage point now that we're over here. There's some of the openings that are uh, closest to the ground. Still pretty high up though. Looks are deceiving from a distance, but you can see the, uh, the ones that were say below that one there in the middle of the screen. There would have been another one there. It's kind of been collapsed over, but you can see where the uh, the walls of the tunnels went underground there, like so. And then of course these ones looking at me, I'm standing in uh, the remainder of uh, what used to be an old drift heading behind me. Of course the ceiling is gone, but it would have headed that way, however far that it did, but I'm standing here in it. But that's, uh, that's where that came from. Of course, all of this uh, has been removed here in front of me. And shit. Yeah. The sheer size of these, once you get over to them, 
of how high they are in the air. Uh, <laughs> there's really, there's really no getting up into that. That must be just the gap between the top and the top of that rock pile is probably a good 20 feet in the air. Yeah, not good. And it's uh, it's vertical enough. I'm not going to get up in that without uh, without my boots and all sorts of things that I should have had. But of course, this was not planned. Wow. So I guess not really much can be done here today, as far as exploration into these holes. It's good to come back though and have a have a look at how different it is. Of course, this sort of winter wonderland theme going on. Very pretty. A lot of crap falling down that, uh, that cliff face there. A lot of gravel constantly crumbling down. But yeah, this is what it looks like today. So I guess that's really it for now. Not much more we can do here. Like I said, it was good to check in, but uh, we will bid this pit adieu for this episode. Didn't think there'd be an episode in the middle of winter, but here we are. Anyway, see you in the uh, spring-summer for the 2018 season. Bye-bye!